Numerical Methods, Problem 14.5 Find the gradient vector and the Hessian matrix for each of the following functions. So, here's our function for A. f of xy is equal to 2xy squared plus 3e to the xy. And to find our gradient vector, we simply take the first derivative with respect to x and the first derivative with respect to y. And, and then set up our gradient vector here. And then, for the next part, the Hessian matrix, we simply take the second partial derivative for f of x and then x, f of x then y, f of y and f and then y, and then f of y and f of x for the same problem. And here are the second partial derivatives for the same function. And here is our matrix, our Hessian matrix for A. And part B asks us to make the gradient vector and the Hessian matrix for f of xyz is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2z squared. So here's our vector, our gradient vector for that one, f of x, f of y, and f of z. And then we make our Hessian matrix with respect to f of xx, f of xy, f of yy, f of yx, or the second parcel derivatives. And we receive 2 and 0 for each, and we set up our Hessian matrix here. And then for part C, we have our third equation, which is the log of x squared plus 2 times x times y plus 3 times y squared. Then we take our x partial and our y partial and then we arrive at our gradient vector here for our x and our y partial and then the last part is finding the Hessian matrix for the same equation and then we arrive here at our second partial of f of x, x, f of x, y, f of y, y, and f of y, x. And then we can plot them up. Plot's running a little slow. This is the plot of the Hessian matrix for part B. Figure 6 was the Hessian matrix for part C. Part 3 is not loading. Here is our Hessian matrix plotted for part A. And here is our gradient vector for part A. And that's it for problem 14.5.